Tooth Decay, Toilet Paper, Horror Movies, Scary Godmother, Attractive Minion Outfits, Attractive Emoji Outfits. These are all things that embody the Halloween spirit. These are things that fuel my love for Halloween, especially the Minion Outfits, am I, am I right? I love Halloween. It's the second best holiday right behind Flag Day. Flag Day is pretty sick, dude. Can we get, can we get some Flag Days in the chat? But Halloween, it's like one of the holidays everyone uses as an excuse to be a quirky wacko. It's also the perfect excuse to watch some scary stuff that you've been putting off forever. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still too scared. But during my childhood, my favorite part of Halloween were always the Disney movies. Every single year, there would be a tradition all over the globe of watching one specific series. One wacky series that put Harry Potter to shame, put all the other magical worlds to shame. That series being... Halloween Town. Halloween Town is basically the reason I smiled for many Halloweens. It's the reason I love Halloween so much. It's the reason I love my grandma so much. I love you, Nona. If you don't know about Halloween Town, it's this movie that takes place during Halloween in, in a town. This really is the spookiest town of all. It's it's so scary. This town is in Oregon. God, I, I, I got the shivers. Oregon is way too scary, dude. Now, this movie series was always my favorite just for how they shoved it down your throat during this time of year. They constantly marathon all the movies like they're all they have, and I never minded it growing up. It was my favorite part about having Disney on the TV. Halloween Town is a 1998 Harry Potter inspiration starring a bunch of nerds and Debbie Reynolds. This is a movie that I adore so much that it never fails to give me a smile. I think it's also since literally this came out a month before my birth, so ever since I opened my eyes, I had this cute adorable movie just giving me joy. This movie is so full of crazy creative practical effects, massive wardrobes, and awesome some set designs, but the only issue is that there is not enough actual Halloween. They got Halloween Town in the title, yet they lose track of the Halloween throughout the movie? Big fail, B big, big fail, dude. The movie begins with this classic slow, nostalgic title sequence. We go through the town, zooming in on a girl looking out the window, wishing that she was out there trick-or-treating with the rest of the kids. She somehow hears a bunch of kids very clearly through the window. Hey, wait a minute. This kid has like supersonic hearing. The main kid, Marnie, gets all mad at her mom that she can't go out tonight for Halloween. Meanwhile, the dorky brother is all like, M my sister's so weird. She's so crazy. How dare she like a holiday? I like Flag Day. <laughs> you know what, little bro? I like Flag Day too. Here's a nice flag. God, that's a nice flag. But no, Marnie is like, Halloween is cool. That is such an iconic line. Marnie continues to fight with her mom until her grandma busts in. Her grandma posts up and drops down from a floating bus like it's nothing. This is one of those original movies to take Halloween and push it into like quirky territory. It pushed into everyone saying that I'm not normal. I'm great. I'm crazy. I'm I'm not like other people. I'm I'm special. I'm a I'm over normal's overrated. Oh, big normal is vastly overrated. And here, it, you know, it actually does fill my heart in this movie. It actually doesn't feel annoying. It actually feels kind of special and sweet. It makes my heart so warm. The grandma comes in and is like, I'm taking your kids with me to Hogwarts. Mom says, no, that's whack. And so grandma says, okay, uh, I'm out. But guess what? These kids sneak out to go with her because we need a cute, fun movie, dude. And guess what? It's happening. They're going to Halloween Town. They get on her special bus and weird stuff starts to happen. They go up in the sky, <laughs> sky high. And then we see Frankenstein and a goblin and all right all right all right the practical effects aren't like insanely good but as a kid i loved it this blew my mind before harry potter showed me truly magical worlds this honestly was my first introduction to like a fantasy land these three kids get off the bus we also see a massive pumpkin like a big pumpkin Ooh, like like this mm, i like it dude oh god Oh, this is a big pumpkin. Mm, scrumptious. We meet a mayor that pulls a lollipop out of his ear. I mean, like, if he could pull that out of his ear, I wonder what he could pull out of his, uh... We meet a skeleton, my, my favorite guy in the world, and I love his effect more than anything. His eyes move to emote, his mouth is all... Chomp chomp. It's art, dude, I love it. He takes them all to an old mansion. Marnie is like, I got powers. So she tries to open the gate, but this little kid secretly might actually have the powers because this kid actually opened it. <laughs> you don't like that, Marnie, I bet. You don't like that, you're not special. I mean, actually, they're both special. They're all special. This, this is 
special family. Spoiler alert, they meet with grandma and grandma's like, hey, what's up fools? I love her, I love her so much. They go explore Halloween Town and grandma starts noticing evil stuff happening around the town. One girl that she knows is now uglier, which is whack, so she asks Amir, what's up? And he's all like, uh, all is good, just give me a couple days, I'll sort it out. We also meet Luke who hits on Marnie and asks if she wants to get a snow cone with the abominable snowman. Maybe I can show you around sometime. Buy you an ice cream. The abominable snowman has a little shop down the street. Wait, yo, that guy? That guy got yellow snow. I wouldn't need that, Marnie. That shit got, got pee on it. it. Grandma takes Marnie in a broom ride, but their joy is cut short when Mommy shows up somehow and takes them away. The bus they're supposed to take home isn't running though, so they're stuck there. Meanwhile, Grandma is taken by that Luke guy to this green booger villain. Apparently this is this is the villain. We're finally meeting the villain, folks, don't worry. <laughs> he wants one of her talismans. She has like a, a Marlin talisman, you know, Marlin from a... Is it Marlin? Uh, the, the guy from the round table. The kids and the mom run in and dummy mom gets blasted with frozen magic and so does grandma. The kids go collect ingredients to make a special potion to save the day. They shave a werewolf and he's like... Yeah, baby! Okay, yeah, sure. We then meet a bunch of thumbs, play basketball and with a cat and dog people. God, I, I love this movie. They also steal other people's body juices and teeth. Delicious, crunchy. They go back to grandma's to make it the potion and go save mom and grandma, but it doesn't work and they go battle the green bugger guy who is actually the mayor. Shocker. Marnie puts the potion in the thick pumpkin. <laughs> oh, so delicious. And booger mayor gets eaten and Halloween Town is saved. Hoorah. Also, it turns out that this Luke dude is apparently an ugly troll. Oh my God, he got, he got face booties. He helped booger guy because it made him cute and but yo guess what kid you were never cute <laughs> i'm just playing we got jokes we got jokes on this channel this movie is cute it's very very adorable every single aspect about it makes my heart just feel whole or just very happy or just feel like a kid again sure objectively it's not really a good movie there are countless issues that just bog it down sometimes the audio will just be all over the place and voice lines will just be heard when the person is clearly done talking or there's a really big issue with the camera just hugging everyone's face like literally like just stop just just back up dude you're you're gonna hit him stop D dude stop dude stop I say that part's a bummer because the world of Halloween Town is so amazing. It's so cheesy, so campy, so full of heart that I just want more of it. I love every tiny detail that they include to make the world feel more special, like Grandma's bag being an infinite portal that holds everything, a twist on Grandma's in general, it's so cute, where every time they show a new kind of civilian in town, like every single animal and what they're doing. The best parts of this movie are just when you see like a swagged out zombie and he just tries to act cool and like the mayor's little freaky bat guy hitting on the kid's mom someone here to see a boss This movie seriously captures that feeling I had when I first watched Harry Potter as a kid. Being a kid and being taken to a fantasy world with crazy characters and insane things going on was just the most insane idea to me. Sure, this movie is like the sci-fi channel budget of the Harry Potter series, but I didn't know better back then, and that's why I really love this movie. I love the nostalgic feeling of all of this. Even if you never watch this, I bet you can still feel the charm and heart that is put into this movie. And honestly, and I'm sorry to the screenwriters, but the plot is the plot's not good it's booty it takes too long to get anything going and when things do start get going you get kind of confused on if there's any threat or not until the end because there's no sense of impending danger or anything until literally the last 20 minutes you don't see the villain until the last 20 minutes but who cares the movie is adorable the cast is so insanely charming and sweet that they just make the movie's lines memorable and iconic to this day i can still hear halloween is cool or powers? What powers? I gotta say that I do like the sequels. I think they're fun. I think they're nice expansions on this world, but they don't quite capture the magic of this first movie because it's a Disney movie that went the extra mile creating this amazing fantasy world. 
Sure, it was shot in Oregon. That's not really magical, but to a kid, everything about this blows your mind. I, I love this movie, dude, and it's so weird how much I love this movie yet, didn't even realize that they made a fourth film. Oh wait, that's because the main girl and little girl was recasted for some ungodly reason, but they can't touch my original Halloween Town. It's my precious holiday movie, my vegan Harry Potter, my flag day wannabe. I love you, Halloween Town. I love you forever. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you.